Uh, what type of urinary tract problems can go into sepsis? So, um, it, first of all, just a, a garden variety urinary tract infection could, um, or uh, an infection that has spread all the way up to the kidney. Another important point is that sometimes the progression to sepsis isn't just about the infection, but it's also about the host. So for example, some the person that's got the, it. The person who's got it, yeah. So some people are more susceptible. A perfect example would be uh, someone who is undergoing chemotherapy for a cancer. During that period of time after they've had the chemotherapy, their immune system is very suppressed. Yes. And when your immune system is suppressed, what might have been just an uncomplicated urinary tract infection has the potential to progress very quickly into sepsis. What would the person feel like? Uh, give me an example, somebody who's home, urinary tract infection, they're going to sepsis and they better know about it. So uh, some things that the, the patient themselves might feel would be that they were, I mean, first of all, they just, their whole body is starting to feel awful, aches and, and pains that are out of proportion to anything that's going on. And they might even already be on antibiotics. That's just another point is just because you're on antibiotics doesn't mean it's impossible to go into sepsis. Um, the, the fever, the cool, clammy skin, um, maybe they family is recognizing that they're just not themselves, that they're not talking right or acting right, those kind of things. Yeah, it's time to call 911 and get to the emergency room? A absolutely.